Hello. Five new Japanese robots just revealed. This is bad. Japan has for a long been at the forefront of all things robotic. We see new and newer robots hailing from the region time after time, sometimes creepy, yet at other times completely heartwarming. Let's take a look at five terrific robots from Japan. Number 5. Rosemary's Robot Baby CB2 Recently, the Japan Science and Technology Agency introduced CB2, child robot with biomimetic body. It is a kind of humanoid measuring 1.3 meters and 33 kilos in weight. Although it reminds us of the cuddly Haley Joel Osment in Artificial Intelligence, CB2 gives us a tenacious fear. It must be the typical robot that goes unhinged, makes a bad face, and begins to distribute toe. You just give him time to stand up unaided. For now, the robot emulates the behavior of a one to two year old child. Our fear seems to be fully justified by the uncanny valley theory. It is not really a problem of the technique that fails to make systems more realistic or human, but of human psychology, that when we perceive or meet the somewhat phony, our emotional alarms begin to sound. Anyway, the creators of the child robot say it's slowly developing social skills by interacting with humans and watching their facial expressions, mimicking a mother-baby relationship. A bald, childlike creature dangles its legs from a chair as its shoulders rise and fall with rhythmic breathing and its black eyes follow movements across the room. It's not human, but it is paying attention. Below the soft silicon skin of one of Japan's most sophisticated robots, processors record and evaluate information. The 130 centimeter or 4 foot 4 inch humanoid is designed to learn just like a human infant. Babies and infants have very, very limited programs, but they have room to learn more, says Osaka University professor Minoru Asada as his team's 33 kilogram invention kept its eyes glued to him. The team is trying to teach the pint-sized android to think like a baby who evaluates its mother's countless facial expressions and clusters them into basic categories, such as happiness and sadness. Asada's project brings together robotics engineers, brain specialists, psychologists, and other experts, and is supported by the state-funded Japan Science and Technology Agency. With 197 film-like pressure sensors under its light gray rubbery skin, CB2 can also recognize human touch such as stroking of its head. The robot can record emotional expressions using eye cameras, then memorize and match them with physical sensations, and cluster them on its circuit boards, said Asada. The professor, also a member of the Japanese Society of Baby Science, said his team has made progress on other fronts since first presenting CB2 to the world in 2007. In the many years since then, he said, CB2 has taught itself how to walk with the aid of a human and can now move its body through a room quite smoothly, using 51 muscles driven by air pressure. In coming decades, Asada expects science will come up with a robo-species that has learning abilities somewhere between those of a human and other primate species, such as the chimpanzee. Number 4. Pero, the Therapy Robot Pero is an adorable robotic baby harp seal that weighs about 6 pounds. Pero was developed in Japan by Takanori Shibata and is equipped with 32-bit processors, microphones, and several tactile sensors. To boot, Pero's fur is fluffy and antibacterial. Pero is a remarkable little gadget and able to recognize voices, track motions, and utter endearing little squeaks and whistles. It also remembers behaviors, has touch-sensitive whiskers, which help it interact with humans, and has a bunch of little motors that enable it to wiggle. In total, Pero has five types of sensors – light, tactile, auditory, temperature, and posture – that help it come to life. Pero was built as a pet alternative and mainly intended for older people who desire company. A real pet can scratch or bite, whereas all Pero places in its mouth is a pacifier it uses to recharge. If interested in seeing Pero in action, here's a YouTube video of the little guy. Although Pero has been sold in its native Japan and countries like Denmark for years, it really started to make headlines after it was introduced stateside. In fact, Pero was featured on Aziz Ansari's new Netflix series, Master of None. Currently, a number of American nursing homes have purchased Pero for use with their residents. However, in order to be worth its $5,000 price tag, many believe that Pero must do more than act cute. It must also help people, particularly the elderly, feel better. Number 3. Motoman SDA-10 
Teach a robot to fish, and it will fish forever. Give a robot humanoid arms, and it will build the fishing pole, catch the fish, gut it, pack it in ice, cook it, and then perform a little dance. The Motoman SDA-10 can do all that and play the drums, thanks to its amazing arms. If you want to be convinced of the Motoman's versatility and human-like capability, just check out the multitude of videos of him online. Building chairs, cameras, cooking, serving beer, the SDA-10 does it all. How can the SDA-10 accomplish so much? Well, it helps that its arms have more joints than a Bob Marley concert. Seven dual action axes, 15 degrees of freedom, and a diverse set of hand attachments give this Motoman bot the range of motion needed to emulate a human performing a task. That's a smart move by the company's owner, Yaskawa Industries. By building a highly articulate robot, they've allowed a single design to fit many different situations. Instead of building a new bot for each task in your factory or office, why not just reprogram the SDA-10? That keeps the cost down and the robots flying off the shelves. Just looking at the SDA-10 assemble a chair, we can imagine it working well alongside Kiva's warehouse robots. Let one bot fetch the parts, the other assemble the chair. It would be a pretty efficient system. Or take the partnership in reverse. Right now, Kiva robots move stacks of goods to humans who then sort them. The SDA-10, however, is great at sorting and moving. A version of the bot, humorously called the Dextrina, we'll let you decide if it looks female, is shown in a video unpacking mail. Flawless execution and there's little chance of it ever going postal. Number 2. Abo Sony has launched a new Abo robot dog in limited edition Black Sesame, following its last release in 2017. The latest Abo robot dog comes in a grey coat with four different eye colors – blue, green, orange, and pink. Not only does its appearance resemble the previous model, but it also features the same functions of facial recognition and everyday interactions through which it can develop its unique personality. What's more, users can name their robot companion, witness their growth, and add new tricks through artificial intelligence powered by the Abo AI cloud plan. They can also stay connected with their robot pet with the My Abo app wherever they go. In addition, gadgets, from playtime accessories such as a bone-shaped toy, a dice, and a pink ball, to necessities like food and water bowls and virtual pet food, can be bought together for an immersive experience. Priced at $2,900 US dollars, Sony's limited edition Abo robot dog in Black Sesame is available on the Sony online store. Number 1. Retired Asimo Honda's Asimo humanoid robot has retired. For the last 20 years, Asimo had been performing at the Honda showroom in Tokyo, Japan, but these regular demonstrations are now at an end. We've known for a while that this was coming. Honda announced back in 2018 that it was halting Asimo development in favor of working on robots with more practical applications, like robots for elder care and disaster relief. But what blows us away about Asimo, even now, is just how impressive it still is. The most recent version of Asimo was announced in 2011. As we watch its performance now, we have to keep reminding ourselves that this was all happening more than 10 years ago. That's decade-old sensing, actuation, compute, batteries, even still, what Asimo is demonstrating are things that are absolutely not easy for humanoid robots even now. And like, the robot still looks so futuristic, right? The design is wonderful, all the movements are buttery smooth, and Asimo would not be out of place in any science fiction movie. This little robot really did set a still somewhat aspirational standard, especially relative to other humanoid robots, which have only within the last few years been able to match and then significantly surpass Asimo's performance, if not its looks. The current generation of Asimo is part of a lineage of humanoid robotics research at Honda stretching back to the mid-1980s. That's all for this video, folks. See you another time.